hey guys, welcome back. This is episode eight, I think, on the Rusty Gear server. I'm Hypnotic, and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff this episode. Um, we're going to be working on the mountaintop garden, which I get a little distracted from at some point because then I have a pig explosion and I go to visit Ash. So there's a lot going on. This server has been a ton of fun. I add a whole bunch of stuff to my shop and I'm making some gears. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for being here. Well, guys, it's the middle of the night and I am here at my shop. I just came down to look at the, at the you know, what I've sold and stuff. And I noticed that I did sell, sell some things. So what I did is I took some of my leather here because I've been selling out of my backpacks and I just made two more backpacks. I haven't been selling my leather, but I've been selling my candles like crazy. So a gear for a stack of two seems to be doing pretty good. And here is my payments. I have somebody that must have bought a backpack, um, one of my last backpacks. And then I talked to somebody about trade for um, backpack for um, berry bushes. So that's nice. And then candles. And then I notice I have another donation here of, of bushes. So that's very, very amazing. I have to go expand my vineyard at the garden a little bit. So I also need to um, add more candles and probably a few more backpacks because they're, they're going well. I mean, obviously backpacks will only, um, will only sell for so long uh, because everybody will have them soon. But I'll put a couple more in there just for safekeeping. Uh, still working on the booze. I have some uh, distilling going on right now at home. So I'll be with you back in just a few minutes. So guys, I decided with my newly acquired um, gears that I would stop in at Apache's place. This is Apache's store. It is absolutely amazing. He has, it's called Earthware and Fire. It's so creative and it's so beautiful from the outside. So this is the inside. Um, he's selling all different kinds of things. What he says is all price, all items are one gear per item slot unless price is given separately so like the crocs you can take two but he can only stack them to one since crocs don't stack he has anvil molds fire clay bricks oh he has shingles nice planters i did buy a couple of those earlier to decorate my shop with he has bugs um and junks nice 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 two for gear that's a pretty good deal and then he has all these molds bowls Watering cans, more bowls, crucibles, ingot molds. Look at this. It's awesome. Really, really cool. Really cool. Um, really neat shop, Apache. Nice job. So I think I'm actually going to buy some things. I am making a cute couple storage vessels back at my place. But I think I'm going to get a couple of these. I mean, for one gear, right? I mean, I'm reading that right. One gear that's a deal so i'm gonna take probably three of those so i owe him three uh the other thing um uh, i have I, i'm gonna have a lot of meat i'll probably share a lot of it with the community center but my gen 3 pigs are about to have babies so i'm thinking about uh, getting some crocs or um flower pots I don't know. Let me think about that. Okay, I did decide to buy four Crocs from him. So that's two more gears. So I'm going to put his payments in here. And we're good. That's really, really amazing. Um, I want to show you he has uh, drifters out here. But uh, look, earthware and fire. Love it. Love it. Apache, I might want to make a deal with you on jugs uh, to sell or to put liquor in. So, guys, the other thing I did is I made a barn. I don't think I've shown you guys this. Um, I have been working a little bit around here, and I did make a barn for my critters. Um, I figured it was time. We're getting pretty serious here in the generations. So this is my barn. I know it's really hard to see. Let me see. Oh, let me go in. So uh, inside it has, uh, I, have, I made a cleaver, 
And then the piggies are on this side, and they're all Gen 3. Uh, they're all pregnant. Let's see if I can kill this jerk who's trying to hit me. So as soon as they have babies, all the mamas and papas are going to die again. And then we have... Uh, our cows are less further along. We have this one who is eating portion so we can get her pregnant. This one is pregnant. So, um, yeah. And there's a baby. So we're getting there. This one is a wild one, so we'll kill her after she has babies. Uh... Got to keep them going. So this, and then there's a little thing back here. I don't know why. I just thought it was cute. Um, and then I have a hayloft up here with some hay. It's not very big, but I'm not. I'm gonna keep my 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 uh my animal husbandry small and just keep it um super organized because I don't want um I don't want to cause a lot of lag on the server. I don't want to. Uh, besides, I've already got a lot of leather, and I don't know what to do with all the meat. So I'll be cooking a lot of that meat um, up at the community center, and then I'll take take the excess home with me. Picking, this is Mushroom Alley. I love to pick these little mushrooms. They last for like a year, and they always respawn. So these lobster mushrooms are a regular for me, which is really nice. Um, and while I am recording, instead of uh, hopping off, I'll show you what I did in the forge. I did a little bit more work in the forge. I think I might have... The health hammer might be in the same place. But I did think about a place for the um, pulverizer, which will be next. And I did... Um, I think I showed you guys that I added the large gear. Yeah. I finished the granite uh, tiles on the wall. Here we go. It's looking nice. And the bees are all so pretty. Uh, so that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'll, try, I'll just do that off camera. I did harvest this one side. Um, and then the, this side is all ready. I ran out of reeds. I need to go get more reeds. Um, but let's show you the forge. Yeah, that's his skull. Uh, okay, I have visitors in here. And I don't know. I, this seems to be lit up funny. I don't get it. Hello. This is my second sling, by the way. I've had to make myself another one already. Okay. So this is the forge. I did um, chisel this so it matches this. And I took that one down right there and replaced it with bricks. Chisel this a little bit. I'm living with it right now uh, to see what I think of it. Put all the granite tiles up there. Tells I love these tiles. I'm probably going to do the floor in something here. I just want to make sure that I have all the silver out. There was a lot of silver in here. So I'm going to be maybe doing like a pro pick thing back here so I can see what, um, what lies in this quartz. Um... Uh, and I really feel comfortable in the forge. I've got all the storage moved over. So all the storage is over here. Uh, obviously, I'm probably going to need to grow my storage a little bit. So I'll probably end up doing something over here as well. Um, and this might just be one storage area. Um, I did put a door right here because I had a lot of monsters spawning back here in the dark. This has yet to be done. But, and, but this is just now kind of a more blank room. This is uh, something I'm going to play on next. Uh, barrels, leather. I'll get um, some tiles going in here, make this look a little bit prettier. This is going to be where I do some dyes and all my leather. So, uh, and I did do some storage pots. So while I have you on, I'll grab these. And I want to show you what I've done to the uh, upstairs. So in my cellar, oh, and I did a little chisel. I started some chiseling of the walls. The walls are going to be chiseled, and they are going to have pretties all around, all around. And so I did my window here. 
while I was babysitting the distiller, the distillery, I, while I was babysitting the distillery, I decided to start on some tinkling to prettify stuff. Um, so let's look at the cellar. What I did is I put some stairs there and chiseled them a little bit to make them look like a shelf. So I moved everything over here. This is all my food. And what I'm going to do is continue to put these in here. Um, and a few others of these. So I still need two. Uh, and I'm going to put signs on everything and get it all super organized. All my food is going to be in here. That other seller just wasn't cutting it. Not cutting it. So that's it for now. I'm going to keep up with the distilling because I have some wine here. And uh, I have something that's finished here. Cranberry brandy. Three liters right there. So now I've got eight liters. Let's do a quick look. Three liters of spelt whiskey. 2.6 because Nathan and I were drinking the amaranth whiskey. I have a liter of sake and uh, 0.6 of rye. So I'm getting there. So now I have blueberry bushes. You guys notice I put a blueberry brandy here. Now I have 20 more blueberry bushes. So that could get me started on the blueberries. I only have two back at the garden. So anyway, I'm going to... Redo these and get on to the next project. Well, guys, I got it all organized. <laughs> here we are. Um, all the currant bushes are back here, and all the cranberries and blueberries are out here. I still have to harvest the cranberries, and I'm going to go check the garden. But obviously, this is not going to last long. If I get any more berries, I'm really going to have to expand. And I might think about, like, moving it completely, just somewhere completely new. Somewhere, obviously, that it's cool enough that I can get berries throughout the winter. But, um... I'm actually building up a pretty nice little vineyard here. So I'm going to look at the garden really quick and probably plant some stuff. And then, oh, there's some, some cranberries right, right there too. And then we'll work on the next thing. Thought I'd show you guys the process of what I've been doing here in my cellar. Um, I, ha I just squeezed all those berries that we picked. 
And then what I'm doing is taking all the, the juice and then transferring it over to even amounts over here. So I've already done the cranberries. I put 30 liters. We had 32.48. And you can only see the, seal these barrels in even numbers and tens. So, and I did that with the red currants. So this is what we're doing. We have, we only have, we have 27 of the black currants. So we're gonna put 20 over here. There will be, um, Oh wait, I had more already. Yeah, there's 20. So now we have seven. That's all we can put over here. But I just don't want it to go bad, so we're gonna seal that 20. And then same thing with the white currants. I have 21 liters, and we're gonna put 20 liters over here, and then we're gonna seal it. That way I have, um, there we go. So now I have 30 liters of cranberry juice, 20 liters of red currant, black currant, and white currant, all turning into wine. Now these have quite a bit, see this black currant juice is only good for another eight hours. So it's a good thing that I did that. So what I do with the extras, grab myself a little glass. Before it goes bad, why not? I uh, drink the, the juice because I don't want it to go bad and there's no reason to waste it. And so I will be drinking this kind of throughout while I'm babysitting the um, distiller because now all the wine has been distilled. This is the last one. So I'm working on it. Slow but sure. I do need to put in another distillery. Uh, I'm gonna put it in right here. Um, when I just get up the gumption to do some copper plates. I don't like doing plates. Okay guys, well I'm headed back to the shop. Um, I have done a couple of things. Sorry, I'm getting out of all my miscellaneous things. I am, I just made some ore bombs. Ore bombs are really expensive. So it takes a flax, it takes a twine, it takes blasting powder, which you need salt, heater, sulfur, and black coal for. So, I'm really trying to decide. You can make eight bombs with one, you know, so when you put one black powder, one flax, and one, let's, I'll show you, um, bomb. The bomb. So, takes four of these, a flax and a, and a, a twine to make eight of them. And what goes into making blasting powder is saltpeter, sulfur, and crushed coal, black coal, or charcoal. So I thought a stack of eight would maybe be five gears. That's what I'm gonna do it at. Oh God, I hope I have my two. Um, I, maybe it's on my back. No, I don't. I've gotta run home and I'll be right back. I, I need my chalk to write on the, to write on the um, sign. Okay, well, I got my chalk. Um, but while I'm here, I thought I would just show you what I've been doing. I just made a bunch of um, copper plates so I could make the other distillery. And then I made three of the Melodichakos plates so I could make three more lanterns. I know that these would sell really good at the shop, but I just can't afford to sell them quite yet. Um, because I need them too much. So, uh, yeah, I just can't do it yet. Um, and then probably by the time I'm ready to sell them, people won't need them. I don't know. But right now I need them because I think that my base has grown so big. I'm spawning a lot of monsters in there. And it's not like I don't, it's not like I mind killing the monsters because I'm still trying to collect temporal gears and things. But um, I definitely uh, need to make sure my base is lit up. And I'm thinking about putting one of these lanterns in the barn. Although... That's probably not necessary. So the barn is here. I think I showed you at night. So there it is. And we've got, oh, we've got another, that baby grew up to be another bull. Well, that's unfortunate uh, because one of you is going to have to die. They're both Gen 1. It doesn't really matter. But the other two girls are pregnant. And then I'm keeping an eye on the pigs because there should be a pig explosion anytime. And then all these females and all but one male are gonna die. 
go. Um, trying not to. I don't want to expose too much here, but here we are back at the ore bombs. So let's go ahead and put these in. We're going to put them in um, stacks of eight. And then I'm going to say one stack of eight for five gears. We'll see how that works. Then the other thing I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to um, make a little employees only section in the back. What I'm going to do is put um, a door right here and just go out to a little shack. I'll show you what the idea is. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm not in need of uh, that. How did I, how did I, um, let's see. Um, stack of eight or four or five years. There we go. So the candles are selling. I've sold a bunch of candles. I haven't really sold any leather, but I have sold a lot of backpacks. Um, and then I added a few things. I said, welcome to the Thrifty Hippie. Make yourself at home and browse. Currently in need of or willing to negotiate for. Um, I said rice seeds and amaranth seeds because I need to step up the whiskey brewing. And cattail roots and papyrus roots because I need to expand my farm um, for, for the bees. I have also put up all the information for the booze sales. So this is the finest spirits in town. It's the only spirits in town, but we're not going to talk about that. It's self-serve, and the prices are as follows. So the most expensive way to drink it is by the mug, because a mug is 0.4 liters, so not quite half. So you get two mugs for one gear, a bowl, which is a liter for one gear, and a jug, which is three liters for three gears. And then I have all the barrels here, and I'm going to name them up above. I'll probably put the brandies all on one side and the spirits on another. I really want to make a good entrance when I do this, though, and want to make sure I have plenty, and I'd rather wait until I have a little bit more to put them in here. And then I said, feel free to sit and drink, watch the people go by and visit, haha. <laughs> but I'm not going to go out that way. The other thing I did um, is I did self-serve honey. So you can bring your container, um, a gear per liter. A bowl is a liter, and a jug is three liters, so one gear and three gears. I thought that would be good, but here I'm going to go out. There's a monster right there. See, he's swinging his little weird arms. I'm going to go out here and put on just this little shack right here. Dude, you want to die? You're going to die because you threw a rock at me. Now I'm mad and you're going to die. See? Shouldn't have messed with Hippie. Give me your flex. Okay, so I was going to probably just put a little 5x5 five five here with a little employees only door right here. I don't know. Because I need a little space. Or maybe I'll make a little cellar. I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay, so the next thing I was thinking I need to do is it's March. So we have some pretty good weather here um, for the next couple months before it gets too hot and I replanted the garden at my garden space but I'm thinking that I really want to get my little rooftop garden going um, and that's on top of my mountain now my spiral staircase staircase goes all the way up there um, but I there's two reasons I want to do that garden number one it'll be pretty number two I can grow some stuff in the winter here that I can't grow in the summer, I mean in the winter over in my garden, because it's warmer here. So I have, um, pick on everything. I need to get another windmill up there and add more flax to those. Um, get those ladders down. Look at the bees. They're almost ready again. That's the thing. Very good. Candles are selling like hotcakes. I have a couple of, that one needs to go to the animals. I should have brought that. This is um, for the shop, and then this is for the rooftop garden. I wanted to plant another ebony. I wanted to plant these seeds up there and see how they do. And I have some terra preta. So we're going to need, I have that. We're going to need some sticks. 
Um, and if I can make a hoe or two. Um, take a few of those. And I'm going to go get started on that. Let's go this way, actually. I put, oh, there's another baddie. I put a couple more brass torch holders. I finished off with the brass that I had. I think I might be able to make a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to be doing a lot of digging because I have to reduce that. Oh, it's dark in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. Where's my lantern? Oh, it's right there. It's stacked with four, so really me. Okay, so let's gonna we're gonna continue to go up the spiral staircase. Make you ill. Woohoo! That's gonna be the third story bedroom. So oh my gosh, guys, that was kind of a crazy idea. I think. Okay, sorry, sorry for the sick the seasickness. Kinda, not really. Okay, so this is gonna come down all the way to this. So I'm gonna get busy on this. guys I have a little bit of a problem <laughs> look at these pigs I have so many pigs I don't know what to do with this is horrible so apparently somebody played for a long time yesterday and let a lot of time go by and now I have a ton of pigs and I have no way of I mean I'm gonna have to go buy one one by one but the cleaver I thought was supposed to one hit them at generation three so there's a generation three. That was not, that was one hit and it's not dead. There's a generation four. Not dead. Um, does it have to be an iron or a steel one or something? I mean, I don't, I thought it was supposed to one hit them and I thought that was going to make this a lot easier. So now I am going to have to kill all these pigs. I think I'm just going to get them down to like one or two generation fours. Oh, wow. I'm a little overwhelmed. So guys, I've decided what I'm doing here is I'm just letting a few pigs into the central area and making it my slaughter place. I feel so bad. I got to get rid of all these pigs. I'm going to leave it down to just a few of the generation four and I got to control this more. Oh my God. Somebody, I took a night off last night and that was a mistake <laughs> because now I got so many pigs. I don't know what to do with. Um, so I am thinking that I might actually adjust this a little bit and make this, um, cause I do have that back room. Um, it's kind of like a back little area. I might pull this, this way a little bit to do this in the future. But for now, make this the little slaughtering area back here. But for now, this is what I'm doing. I'm going in here, I'm opening this up and waking them up, waking them up, come on guys. And then uh, letting them come through. And a little bit at a time. Look at all this fat and meat stuff I'm getting. This isn't even all of it, more of it is. See, the little leading the lambs, the pigs, to the slaughter. Oh, there's a couple over there I haven't skinned yet. 
this is going to take me a while. I'm not going to put this all on camera, but I will show you the end result when I'm done. Come on, pickies. Come on, pickies. Oh, my gosh, guys. Well, guys, I am spending a rainy day after doing all of that pig killing, um, making some meat pies and making some uh, meat stew. <laughs> I put most of it, I put a whole vessel full of um, red meat uh, in the storage vessel in the cellar in the community center. And then I baked, I, I cooked four pots of red meat stew down at the community center. The rest I brought home with me. I have way too much that I could even use. Um, and then I'm just making, let's see, this one's almost done. So let me show you what I've done over here. I have put, I think I'm out of the red meat, yes. So I have two, two full pots, this full pot, and then five red meat pies. I'll keep these two on me. Hopefully those will last a long time, 74 days, 75 days, 122 days, perfect. I have a ton, I told you that I would show you all of the stuff that I got from the um, slaughter. It took me two and a half in game days to slaughter all those pigs, four deaths, uh, a couple of cheap axes, um, lots of knives, and I am exhausted from it. I left one Gen 4 female and one Gen 4 4. Um, I am really going to control it <laughs> now because it's just too much to keep up with. Um, anyway, um, I just had a very nice encounter with Ash and then um, I am going to spend some time once I get this done both working on the windmills and the going to get some more medals. That's what we're going to do next. Well, I'm joined by Hypnotique, known as Hippie. Hello. Hi, how are you, Ash? <laughs> I have had a disaster. Oh, no. Let me show you. Yeah, I was playing just over an hour ago and I had three pigs. I had two sows, no, sorry, two boars and a sow, and I killed a male cow and two sheep. And I logged back on. I still got <laughs> my, my two boars and a sow are now one female cow, and I've killed the male. Oh, no. And I've still got four raccoons and a fox. <laughs> it looks like it looks like you might have I, more than four raccoons. There's a lot of raccoons in there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, raccoons and foxes do not eat pigs. So <laughs> where did your pigs go? I don't know. <laughs> they just they just completely disappeared. I'm as mystified as you are, and it's not the sort of thing that anybody would do. Nobody would come and kill pigs, would they? No, 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 no. And it's funny you mention that because I just went and killed about 25, 30 pigs in my barn over there. <laughs> I should have brought I'm you a couple. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the game did not think you were killing mine. But <laughs> over, over here, I've got sort of, you know, all sorts of animals that just fell in. I actually oh, wow. built a raccoon trap. Uh -huh. And everything fell in. And then I've got chickens in here that glitch in and out, of course. Right. So we're, do we're okay for chickens, but I desperately wanted pigs for the fat. Right. And they, they just disappeared. Shoot, I should have brought you some fat, too. Um, I can bring <laughs> you some fat as well. But I do have this resin for you. I have... Oh, thank I, you. I, gra I had let's, grabbed... Let's go over here where it's flatter. Oh. Okay, I grabbed oh. five... I grabbed five from my um, stores, and then I picked two on the way. So there's seven. Oh, you wow. You should have seven. Thank you so much. Let me show you where I, what I'm doing up here. Sure. Um, you know I'm building this huge build up here. Yeah, it looks amazing. Um, it, it will do at the end. My builds always look a complete, complete mess to start with. And then if you come up here, 
I'm pretty well, I'm just moving up here and starting to get organized. And I am this far towards a hell of hammer. Very nice. And you're, I've got the actual hammer, but I couldn't build the stand without resin. And <laughs> I only know, I know. So thank you very much. Is there um, anything you're short of? Um, uh, really just, I'm looking for more rye seeds or more amaranth seeds. Really, that's it. Um, I have, I did build my health hammer. I do have a couple of windmills, um, and it's finally going a decent, uh, speed. But, uh, it's so nice to have a health hammer when you do and not have to do those plates by oh. hand. Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. It's just dire. Yeah. I do not have any amaranth which is ready to harvest. No, there's no worries. That resin is a complete gift. I have a lot oh. of it. And I keep, I have three resin trees that are so close and I pick them every time. So no worries. If you just ever end up having any extra, I would love to. Um... Okay, all I can offer you <laughs> is this. What is that? A oh, wand. Nice, that's fine. That's great. I am honestly <laughs> just trying to build up my amaranth and rye so I can um, yeah. Yeah. do Did a little you more know? distilling. You, did you see the polar bear that's up to the west? I did. I actually recorded it on one of my episodes with Nathan. Yeah. We, we ran into two of them. <laughs> yeah, well, my last episode, I didn't realize there was one up there and I got killed by it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I went too close. Yeah. I wanted to have a good look at it, went too close. And then I'm kaput. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nathan, I think, ran right through one before he even realized what it was. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, he apparently, he survived, though. So that was good. Yes. That doesn't surprise me at all. That doesn't surprise me at all. Well, your place is so, looking fabulous. Yes, that's Andy, not me. <laughs> <laughs> it Andy is the, is, has been extending this build. Uh -huh. And it's looking better and better. Yeah. Um, but, but the cellar is something I absolutely hate because we didn't realize it. But it's, can you see it's just slightly negative? Yeah. Your it, wheel will be going just slightly negative. Exactly. You Whereas have a haunted here, cellar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. And over <laughs> here, it's positive. Right. Now, in my mountain, if I go back negative. into my distillery and that area, it is negative. But as soon as I go back to my kitchen, it's positive. So. Yeah, I'm okay up here. See, mm -hmm. it's absolutely neutral up here. Mm -hmm. It's just on the ground. Yeah. And the view from here over to Spawn is normally quite incredible. What a filthy day. Isn't it great as soon as you've got a roof up on a building there? Yes, <laughs> and it is raining over in my place too, and I love it because rain is uncommon in my area, so it's very yeah, nice. Yeah, you don't normally get it, do you? Right, I live in the desert for sure. Oh, but... my word. Well, your place is and looking you... amazing. I love it. Well, it's starting to, starting to, it's getting there. <laughs> uh, but I've got quite a nice plan in my mind. Um, it's just, you know, having the time and energy to make it happen. And it, there's not that much apart from just cutting wood and placing it and getting the spacing right at the moment. Mm -hmm. But quartz is going to be needed. But as uh, I said, I keep coming back over here in the hope, in the hope that it will have changed. Right. I've, I'm just absolutely mystified. Nice try, somebody. Nice try. Somebody tried to lure me with the bony soil, knowing that I would love to have the bony soil, but I was standing safely back here when all that sand fell. Ha ha ha. Nice try, peoples, nice try. Well, I'm going to get my uh, the liquor in here. I've so far, I just made a bunch of more buckets. I'm going to need them anyway. And I just transferred what I could down here. So I have 10 liters of black currant brandy, 10 liters of red currant brandy. This one is the cranberry brandy. So I'm going to put it up here. Cranberry, uh, 
brandy. And then this one is the white currant brandy. I should be charging more for the white currant, but you know what? I don't want to confuse uh, any prices. All the same. It's just harder to get white currants. And then here we're going to put blueberry uh, brandy coming soon. Right there like that. And then over here we're going to do sake. So right here we're going to do sake. Um, and then we have amaranth whiskey. And then is that one any? And then we've got the spelt whiskey. Okay. So for some reason, those all those won't stack. It's weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, so let's write this one. Let's write out these. Um, sake. I love sake. Do you guys like your sake warm or cold? Because I've had it both ways, and it's amazing. Okay, amaranth whiskey. Amaranth. Amaranth. Whiskey. And then this one is the spell whiskey. Now, oops, whoops. Spelt. I'm going to change this to down there. Spelt whiskey. And then coming soon, we have rye whiskey. I don't have very much of it. Rye. Um, so I didn't bring it down. But I do, I did just harvest the garden, so I will have, oops, I need to say coming soon to this one. Coming soon. There we go. Like that. And um, I saw in a Shanton's video, she only read this, <laughs> this sign. But there's two other signs up there, guys. So well, this is all the spirits. It explains the fact that it's self-serve and it explains the prices. So if you bring a mug, you get two drinks for one gear. If you bring a bowl, it's one gear. And if you bring a jug, it's three gears. So there you go. And you can fill up and I will be replacing these um, as I make them. I'll just be bringing lots of buckets down. And I want to thank whoever left the donation of sticks. That is amazing. Somebody left me four stacks of sticks. That is amazing. So there's two fuzzy parts in this video and it's because um, Andy doesn't want his shop revealed yet. So I'm really trying to honor that. Um, so I already did buy one of these beautiful amethysts from Nathan and I think I want to buy another one. I may just buy them out. I love them. Um, termite mounds. That would be pretty cool to sit around. I have so many hides you guys I just don't even know what to do with. Let's see what he has heather, dwarf, dwarf furs, cat mint. Mm, the, the woad is very tempting because of the um, dies and then look at that he has cactus flowers per one eight per year okay those are the more rare things which is very nice bones lime quick lime that's tempting isn't that tree cute in there i need to do a few of those um olivine horsetail poultices that's very tempting oh my gosh look how many sticks i wonder if the donation came from nathan <laughs> um it might uh and i have two temporal gears now guys because i did um i did get another temporal gear off of a drifter so we're going to go around this way so i don't reveal too much and just uh take it back home for now uh, i just wanted to show you that i put the whiskey and the booze up in my shop now and it looks like somebody filled in this trench that's nice Let's look at the animals. We have a, a casualty right here. Do you see that? It says dead. And I don't think it's coming back. I would kind of like to wait the season through and see if it's going to come back. But right now, I still only have my two pigs. Uh, the sow is ready to mate. I'm really afraid of doing that, but I think I'm going to have some time to um, give some attention to the game uh, in the next 
few days. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get her pregnant. And then um, be on top of the whole pig thing. I can't do that again, guys. I just can't. Okay, let's look at the... Um, I think we're going to have to kill a cow. Or two. Uh, because we have uh, way too many bulls. They're all generation one. That one's generation two, so we'll keep him. I don't think it matters with the bulls, but we're going to take care of this dude right here. Sorry, mister. Oh. Um, and who was... Okay, so you're going, you're leaving too. Whoa! See that? Yep. Sorry, Mr. Oh, cute little smile as he goes down there. Okay, um, and then let's look at the girls. The girls are... She's ready to mate, and they're both ready to mate. So we need to feed these guys like crazy, because this these are our milk cows. We are going to be trying to get milk from these guys. So there you go, girls. Uh, dinner and a date, mister. Dinner and a date. Get busy. Getting them fat and happy. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm going to head home. I'm going to go over to the garden, and I want to pick the berries because I was on earlier today. Uh, my husband and I just went to see the new Batman movie with Robert Pattinson, and I don't want to give anything away, but you guys really, if you don't know who plays Penguin in it, it's pretty crazy. Ghouls. 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 I think I would fall for that. Oh, I meant to put the straw back. Okay. Uh, yeah, we went to see the Batman. I just would say it's really, really long. It's three hours, but it's really good. I enjoyed it a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, we have one. We have two buckets down here. And I have barrels ready in case uh, we can start milking. Okay, guys, I'm going to go over to the garden and um, pick some berries and check on it. I'll, I'll check in when I get over there. I'm at the garden and all the berries are ripe. So these were, I got 20 more um, bushes in my shop. I'm done collecting cranberry bushes, so I don't want to trade for cranberry just bushes anymore. I would still take some more blueberries though. So if anybody is watching, I still would take blueberries. But look at this. So I'm going to get to work here and put all these berries in my box and then I want to show you really quickly I did do a bunch of gardening earlier I planted all this flax which is not going to be ready amaranth oh the turnips are ready nice um, a lot of amaranth and sunflowers aren't these sunflowers so sweet these are almost ready the cabbage I'm doing really good with flax guys I have some more of it than I need I'm thinking maybe I could sell sales I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to pick these berries, and this was just a quick check-in at the garden. I'm going to pick these berries, and then uh, I'll get back to you after that. Not sure what we're going to do next. It's very quiet day on the server. So uh, I know it was on, a lot of people were on earlier, but now it is uh, in the early evening of Sunday, so people are probably off doing stuff with their families, as they should. I did that though. Batman was so good, guys. Go, go see it. It was really fun. I don't get any money for saying that, by the way. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, it's probably not quite as long as my others, but a lot's been going on, and I am anxious to get on to the next project, and I think that's going to be a little bit more lengthy. So that's going to be the next episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on this i raised up those oak pillars and this is going to be another room out here i'm going to make sure it is kind of like symmetrical with this one down below and then i'm going to i am going to open this up over here so i can add another windmill on this side so that's going to have to be cut out right there open up put up another windmill right there and i'll chisel some pretties and then we'll start thinking about the tower for the next layer of windmills 
And then I was just gonna check on the chickens while I had you guys on. I keep collecting these um, resins as they go. My trees are getting so big. I'm so excited about fruit trees because I can make other alcohols with these fruit trees. And I think the alcohol wing of my store is gonna need to expand after I get um, some ciders and things going. But I have lots of chickens and that one's generation three, generation three. Looks like they're all generation threes. Um, looks like they probably need to be fed. And then we'll start getting rid of these ones once they have babies. So, uh, looks like I got, I do, oh, can I reach that box? Yes. Excellent. I moved the box down from the top. Um, cause I didn't like it hanging on the wall like that. Um, dude, I'm hungry. Got to eat these chickens food, this, this chicken food. Okay, so we'll get these guys fed. I super appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out the other gears. Um, their videos are super fun, and uh, it's great to see them sneaking up on each other. Nice trying the pranks, guys. You gotta work harder with this hippie here. So we'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Enjoy and stay safe out there. Bye, guys.